Welcome everyone. Now let's take a look at the task number four. So in this task, you need to create the class name diamond one, and this class it should print the following output in the console. So this is the output that we expected to have on the console at the end. Okay, so we are going to work on it on this class, which is under the package day 01 of Java self-practice. Now I'm going to create the main method to make it make this class more readable. And then I can start to print the characters of the of the diamond shape. So if you look at the beginning at the top, we do have this carrot character, right? So that character, it is uh, in order to print that character while you are holding the shift key on your keyboard, then you need to press six. Okay. And after the carrot key, of course, you need to include, after that, you have next print, in the next print statement, you have to include those characters. So when you include those characters, you know that uh, this uh, this backward and forward uh, slash slash characters, you can print it. So this is the forward uh, slash character and this is the backward slash character, right? So one backward slash character, in order to print one backward slash character, you would have to use the escape sequence, okay? And as you can see here, there is also additional space, right? Okay, so now we have printed the beginning, the, the, the top part of the diamond. But as you can see, some space are missing right before this carrot character. So make sure that you give space. And as long as they are aligning here, that means you, are, you will be able to print the diamond shape. And next, you need to display those characters on the console. So I can copy and paste it here. And when I paste it, you see IntelliJ's smart tool, it will automatically use me this uh, double slash characters. In order to get the single backslash, you need to give double backslash, right? And when you run the program, of course, as you can see, the sum, the, those characters are not aligning well on the console. That's because here you you supposed to have one space so i can include one space here and this is what i will end up getting and i also have to make sure that this character carrot is also aligning on, on the output so i will add on more one more space so this is what i will end up getting okay so we have finished up to here and next we continue to print the bottom part of the diamond and in the next part we have to print this on the console so these characters, I can paste it here. And again, uh, when you run the program, you will uh, when you see the output, you will know if they are aligning well or not. So since they are not aligning well right now, for the previous three print statement, I need to add one additional space before each output. Okay, so now it is aligning well. Okay, so after this is printed, uh, after this is printed, we still have one more forward slash and backward slash and then of course in uh, between them I need to include about uh, seven space characters right so here I will copy and paste it to the next line in this next print statement you see I can paste paste the characters that I wanted to print all right so they are still not aligning well those previous four lines with the last line so which means there are one more space that is missing so I need to add one more space to all the previous print statements. See, now we are getting close. Okay. So these parts of the diamond are completed. Next, so I need to display those dashes, multiple dashes. I can copy those characters and then paste it into the next print statement. In the next print statement, after I paste those characters, see, now I have completed the top part from top to half part of the diamond. Now it's completed. Now I just need to work on the half of the the other half of the diamond, right? So you are still going to need about one, two, uh, three, four, five, five print statements. So here, first of all, I can go ahead and give the five print statements. One, two, and three, four, and five. Okay, and then this time uh, you need to give the characters starting from backslash, right? Uh, since you are giving backslash character, yes, you need to give double backslash. And then 
after the backslash characters after couple spaces then you will give the forward slash so this time it's easier to see if they are aligning well or not with the pre uh, previous print statements right and it seems like uh, the space that I included here are not enough I give six space but in the expected output is supposed to have about seven space so let me give one more space character see now we are getting more closer okay so and in the next print statement I also have to include those characters so I can copy those characters and paste it to the next print statement and of course this line it has to be aligning with the previous print statements line okay and you can continue to do the same for the next print statement but every time when you are pasting the previous line uh, you need to take out one additional space right now let me run it okay so seems like there's supposed to be a space on this line so that it would align well with this um, this backward slash right right now as you can see this backward slash it's not aligning well with the previous lines uh, backward slash so which means here I need to include one space and here another one space but the moment that I added those spaces oh last one is not all it needs seems like it needs one more space Make sure that you give the additional space that are needed so that they can align well. And every time when I add one more space, those characters, those uh, those forward slash characters, they are they are also shifting to the to the right. So they supposed to be at the same part uh, position, right? If I added one backslash at the beginning, then here I need to remove I need to remove one space. If you added one space at the beginning, here you need to remove one space in order to align them well. Okay. So we are getting closer to our expected output. And in the next print statement, yes, you would still have to include the backslash and forward slash those characters. And make sure you include the spaces before backslash and before forward slash to align them with the previous uh, previous outputs. Okay, we have com almost completed this diamond shape on the console. Lastly, we need to print the very bottom part, which is the V shape. So which means the last one it should include this character V uppercase V so this V it has to be placed at this position right so make sure that you give spaces so that at the end it will be printed at the right position at the expect the right position well it seems like we gave one additional space so make sure you remove it so and now you do have the diamond shape on the console and also, what if I wanted to move this diamond shape a little more to the right? For that, you could choose to include some paragraph space in every single line, right? For example, if I include two paragraph space, then every time when it prints the diamond shape, it will uh, it will append two paragraph spaces began at the beginning of the each line. So let me also add the two paragraph space to every single print statement here at the be at the beginning of every single print statement see how uh, how differently it will be printed on the console all right I so so now I finished giving those paragraph spaces and now if I run the program you see now I do have this diamond shape okay so this is the diamond one task in the next task we will also display another diamond but we will include some awestruck characters in this in this diamond shape <laughs>